Character, honesty, morality, these are three words. <laughs> now let's introduce the next comic of the night. He's had four specials on Comedy Central, and if you've seen him do comedy or had lunch with him, you know he brings a lot to the table. Please welcome a Waffle House of a man, Ralphie May. Oh, why, ladies and gentlemen. I love Las Vegas, it's great to be here. Uh, it is deceptively large. Uh, kind of like me. It is deceptively large, this place. I know. Uh, my wife, that's right, I'm married. Sorry, girls, pack up your giners and hit the bricks. That's right. That's right, broads. None of this sweet day for you, sister. Pack it up. I, uh, I'm married to a Jew broad. I, uh, I married one. I've made a couple of Jews. I'm doing the work of Christ. Somebody's got to make them. <laughs> My wife is directly the opposite of me, man. You know, I'm a fat slob. She's super hot. I don't know what she's doing with me, but I don't ask a lot of questions. <laughs> but she's always so active. It's so annoying. Look, I'm more than a Diet Coke fix. I don't want to walk to the next casino. <laughs> And it's so large here. Oh my God. She's like, let's just walk over to Caesars. It's just the next one over. Let's walk over to Caesars. Ugh. <laughs> that is a long way, man. I know it's right next door, but that is a long way. We were 17 hours into our walk and I was at the end of the driveway. <laughs> Me and the kids were like, go on without us. Oh, oh, oh. The first night we camped by the river. Lord, Lord, Lord. Go on, Jew, without us, me and the kids. We'll stay here and come back for us. We'll stay warm with all these hooker magazines these Mexicans are handing out. Oh, thank God. I, uh, in 23 years of doing stand-up comedy, I've been in 19 war zones with the USO. And um, as a, a banker, it's taken me all around the world, and uh, you know I can't serve, okay, because they won't let fat people in. You know, none of that stuff is fat friendly. <laughs> Get in that tank. <laughs> hey, you want me a submarine? No, no. <laughs> I'm a patch at that point. No, thank you. No, thank you. I will not be that. I was in, um, I was in Iraq in 2003, in September. Uh, we were uh, some of the first USO uh, uh, performers brought in. And uh, I mean, it was in September 2003. The war started like May 2003. You understand? Okay, they hadn't caught, you know, uh, Saddam Hussein, okay, with his beard and his stupid beret, like really, you can't find that guy with the, with the Magnum P.I. mustache and the feathered hair with the girl hat on, you can't find that dude, seriously, okay. And uh, we were flying from uh, uh, to Crete to uh, Baghdad, Camp Victory, okay, if anybody's, any soldier's been there, I don't know. And I was flying with the 101st Airborne and uh, we were in Black Hawk helicopters. And um, it was a combat landing, okay, and takeoff. So when it happens, the helicopter just comes in and just plants it on the ground, okay? And the rotors are still going, and you load everything on, okay? And they put everybody and the equipment in the back section of, uh, it's divided into two sections, the, uh, the Black Hawk is, okay? All right, and I'm in the front section, okay? I guess they even it out, right? <laughs> and, 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 uh, and like the, the rotors are going, Okay, and uh, the, uh, the gunner is also the load master, okay, so the pilots are up there ready to take off, all right, and the gunner is in charge of everything behind the pilot seat, okay, and he's yelling, as I see everybody putting their seat belts on, I'm trying to put my seat belt on and it won't loosen up to get my fat arm through it, right, and uh, the guy goes, look, the safety belt is not going to fit you. Basically, you're <laughs> Now, you never want to hear that in a war 
zone, okay? That's not the first thing that goes, oh, that's awesome, I feel so refreshed. And well at ease, okay? It's like, where's my Xanax, okay? <laughs> Seriously, let me take a narcotic Skittles flavor, you know, handful. Okay, that's nothing that's gonna raise my heartbeat, like I need another risk factor. All right, and, uh, and we do a combat takeoff, which as soon as they clear the, uh, the base, they fire both machine guns, okay? And what they did is they gave me a headset, and they said if they had to make any quick maneuvers, they'd say, hold on. All right? Yeah, it was probably not the best uh, idea. But so I kind of hook one shoulder through, and they're like, tell us some jokes. You know, we can't come to the show. So I start telling them every joke I know, okay? And it's our pilots and gunner and the crew in the next Black Hawk, and AWACS over uh, the Gulf, and some dudes in Tampa are all listening, okay? <laughs> and uh, we're flying, and I'm telling joke after joke after joke, and we hear. <laughs> And uh, we flew through a trail of RPG, and they're yelling, RPG, RPG, and this, the uh, alarms are going off inside the barn, uh, 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 all right, and then they start doing all of these airwolf moves, <laughs> and nobody said, hold on, fatty. <laughs> so, so, my big ass was falling inside the helicopter, and I got a helmet on, thank God, I've been knocked out first fall, all right? All right and, but apparently, every time I hit, I'm making a fish tail, okay? <laughs> and they're yelling to, they're like, secure your load, secure your load. <laughs> and he's shooting, right? And I, I, we level out and come back around, and I stand up and I'm in front of a machine gun, and Maybe I fired off some rounds. <laughs> and uh, the pilot was like, uh, get him off that gun! Get off that weapon! And I'm like, they're not just shooting at you, all right? <laughs> and the, the, the gunner was like, hoo -ah, get some, all right? <laughs> so I downed some palm trees and some bushes. I jacked up some rocks. So. I'm with you, baby. I'm with you. And uh, wherever you guys go, I'll go too. And, um, you know, it was a mess, man. I mean, you know, I had sand in places I'm still getting it out of, okay? <laughs> During this set, I made a pearl, okay? Um, I, uh, I want you to know I dedicate this, uh, my part of the show, not only to the men and women of our U.S. military, but their families that they leave behind. Thank you for your sacrifice. The year or more of your anxiety. And I hope all your loved ones come home as soon as possible. I'm Ralphie May. Good night. Bye-bye, y'all.